Uh, it looked, I mean, you guys have, have always, you know, been close since, since college and all that, but what's it like to kind of, as you start your second contract, you both at the same time, just making your way, does it have a different perspective kind of a few years in to play against a, a friend like that and compete at this level with him? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's always great to see uh, good friends of yours doing well and to see someone like him uh, obviously capitalizing on an opportunity that didn't seem to be present to him when he first started and to make the most of it when it came up to him. So, you know, it shows obviously how ready he was for the NBA and secondly, just the ability to keep doing what he's been doing for years and obviously led to him earning such a big contract. Is it trash talk when you get out there? Is it is it fun? How do you? Uh, I mean, it's, I think it's a little both. I think it's fun. I think we trash talk because we just know each other so well. Uh, he's gotten technicals. I've gotten technicals from course around, you know, forcing around with him too much on the court, but uh, it's been fun. How much time did you spend with him this summer? How did you guys see each other at all during the offseason? Yeah, I mean, we spent a lot of, we spent a good time with each other. We have to see each other all the time and had a lot of time with each other. Um, Near, right next to each other, so you got him to have one of those. I saw an Instagram posts. He's gotten to wear a Yankees hat, so victory there. That's only one person at a time. How much? Go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, just with spending time with him this summer, like any, how do you, how is he? What did you glean as far as how he's maybe approaching this season? What do you maybe expect to see out of him this year? It's been the same every summer. We both always have the same mentality. We want to win, you know. And it's always great to put points up and do that, but you know, the statistics don't equal wins, you know, especially in this league. So, um, you guys, you know, just try to find ways to win. You know, it's a it's a, it's a game of uh, playing chess, not checkers. You played with two of his new teammates, Sarich yeah. and Rubio. Did you give him any sort of insight on? I just on knew those right away when he got when uh, they he garnered Dario. I called them and told him how fortunate. Ricky, obviously, I gave him nothing, but uh, the gleam of report on Ricky, I see, you know, Ricky's just such an amazing teammate, such an amazing passer that he's very fortunate he has someone like that who can really um, help him make the team better. And Ricky is definitely someone who does that, just his leadership, his, uh, his uncanny ability uh, to pass, and just his all around IQ for the game makes it easier. It's going to make it easier for me. What do you think of Ricky Culver? What do you think of, what, what are you hoping to see from him tonight? I just wanted to be, have fun. You know, it's the first preseason game. It's the first, you know, just go out there, have fun, play hard. Um, and, you know, let, let the vets like me and everyone else you know, try to make it as easy as possible for him in the transition. You know, just get, go out there and get your feet Thank you, guys. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.